I finally built a tool I've always wanted, a reprogrammable NeoPixel tester, one that's dedicated, not just a random Arduino. Um, this is using an Adafruit Trinket M0 and three Adafruit 35mm sliders. By default, in the current sketch, you uh, use the three sliders to adjust the R, G, and B components of the strip. And if you find a color that you like, then you can use this to then select the number and position of LEDs. This might be useful to test out a single LED, say. Um, the, uh, when it first powers up, it goes through a little green march to let you know that it's actually working the way it's intended. <laughs> and um, the output is a standard 0.1 inch female header. I put this connector, the male header version, on a lot of the strips I test. It makes it pretty handy. Like here's a uh, three white strip with three different shades of white. So you can see how that looks. And um, so you can try out, oh look, here's the orange, the amber, here's the uh, sort of daylight white and the cool white, or maybe it's the other way around. But, um, but yeah, it works on pretty much all the strips. Um, if you hold down, in the current sketch, I think if you hold down this uh, on power up, it'll go into RGBW mode, so you can test out RGBW strips. Uh, the way it does the, um, where it, the way it works for all strips is it's got these two jumpers, and the power jumper lets you supply 3.3 volt or 5 volt to the strip. Um, 3.3 volt is coming directly off the trinket, so you can't do very many of that. The 5 volts coming directly off USB. The data one is a little more interesting. Um, when it's in 3 volt mode, it's just the data line from the trinket. But in 5 volt mode, it's going through a small level shifter that's solder soldered on the back here. Um, this little other mill made board works pretty well. Uh, these boards are also up on Oshpark. Uh, they're much easier to solder. You can even, I think you don't have much service mount experience, you can even solder this down, even though it looks very tiny. But uh, and if you don't want to use a level shifter, you can just put it in 3 volt mode and um, just deal with the fact that some strips won't work for you very well. Um, yeah, let's see what else that's interesting about it. Um, I made a couple of versions before this. This this is a one with 60 millimeter faders. It's pretty nice, but it's a little bit too big and also it's a little bit too tall. Uh, these these faders are from Amazon and they're they're good. They they feel nice and uh, they got these little felt uh, dust shrouds. Um, these, uh, this is some 35 millimeter faders from Amazon that are not very good. They have a centered detent and are quite noisy. So I don't like this very much, but you know, this still works. I can use this as a carrier board for a trinket in the future, perhaps. And if you've never seen, um, this little power meter, it's pretty handy in and of itself. It uh, lets you know if you've blown something up so you can put a strip in here. I like to, I like to hold the reset button down so that on reset, um, things are coming up okay, and it should be, whoop, we're good to go. So now we can dive in and choose whatever colors we like. So yeah, hopefully I'll make a little bit better sketch than what's currently up on the GitHub. Um, but uh, but yeah, for now, this has uh, been a help, and I've been able to play around with some of the strips that are kind of hard to deal with, so that's the toy. I mean, tool. <laughs>